Hello Leo, how are you guys doing? Thank you so much for clicking on this video, okay? Okay, so I'm just gonna clear the energy really quick, okay? Okay, so Leo, I have your coffee cup right here. Um, I'm gonna do the tarot too and some oracle cards but first okay I write down what I see in the coffee when I'm drinking it and I'm gonna tell you about it okay this is an interesting one <laughs> I can already tell you okay and um, okay so first thing is a spell has been cast that's how this energy feels. Your words, your thoughts are actually spells, right? We've all heard this. There's something here that you have said that's going to come true, but it's good. This is something here where there's like an eerie amazement that is happening here. And this could be something that you have already said a long time ago. And you're going to come to see that this is going to be true uh very soon here or you're about to say something and then it's gonna come true okay so you can kind of see where you fit in that um there's something here that holds such great importance that you are embodying you're choosing to embody like something there's something here that you have come to realize through some kind of introspection and stuff blah 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 that you're like, okay, this is the, like, this is a way that things can be, that the world can be, that you can be, and it's just genuine goodness that is, like, the basis of this, and this is something that it could even be, like, you mumbled it under your breath, this could be something that you have thought, and this is gonna happen, the, there is, like, abundance that's going to form and lift you up, so that way, uh, what it is that you're saying can be heard because what you're saying is truth. And it's very important that other people hear this truth, you know. I saw a horse. Horses symbolize um, finding a strength that you have never known. Oh, this is what I saw too. Not having humans that understand you. Maybe there's humans that don't understand you. People don't understand you. You know, it's like when there was cowboys, it's like, okay, they had their horse and that's it. And the cowboys, it's like sometimes they're close and they're friends and then sometimes they're turning on one another. You know what I mean? So it was like, really? The people around them would change, but it was like the cowboy and their horse. That was it. They could trust their horse. Like they would, you know, have to maybe have their horse go off so they could hide uh, from people that were trying to attack them or whatever, and the horse would come back to them. You know what I mean? Like there was just something where if they ran and they got on their horse, the horse just knew, okay, we were running, we're going this way. Somebody that's supporting you on your quest, which is really interesting because then I saw, and this is like all linking in, and it represents freedom. Okay, freedom and companionship. So there's some kind of companionship in your freedom. This could be another person that's going to come in and they're going to be a great counterpart for you. And they're just like, you know, they have their own things going on, but it coincides together. And they're just like down for your dream here, whatever that is, like this horse. Okay, um, but it doesn't have to be a person. Um, you could just be finding this within yourself and things are really going to take off for you here in an amazing way kind of like giving me this energy like you know how these celebrities you know they have somebody who's like their manager you know but they're like best friends too you know what i mean so it's giving me that kind of energy you're going to find that within yourself as the success and things take off and you get more freedom or it can be coming from a person okay so never-ending story i saw the dog from the never-ending story <laughs> if you've ever seen that movie the huge flying dog and i had to look up about him because all i remember is from that movie is basically the horse got stuck in the mud and oh, the horse got stuck in the mud the horse wow 
And I think the flying dog comes because the horse gets stuck in the mud. He needs a companion. He needs a way to get places. Oh, and that is the saddest thing when he has to lose this horse. I'm pretty sure the horse dies in quicksand. I forgot this movie. All I remember is this horse being stuck. Oh, I can't believe I didn't even see that before. Something is going to happen. This is giving me energy of, you know, Harry Potter. If you've ever seen Harry Potter in the very beginning. And you're like, oh, this is the beginning of Harry Potter. And he goes out into the dark forest. And a person that is half a centaur, a person that's half horse, half person, I think. You know, there's mystical creature. This is the Harry Potter creature. I don't know. He saves Harry Potter from, I think, Lord Voldemort. But this is the first encounter, so we don't know what this thing is, you know. And he saves him. And he says, Harry Potter, this is where I leave you, you know. And he leaves him at the edge of the forest. And he goes back. And this is like, whoa. This is just the beginning of the journey. So this person shows up and saves him and helps him but how many more people help harry down the line of everything that he goes through during the course of that to the end you know so this is something here where i feel like you're gonna get a lot of unexpected help is just gonna show up when you need it like it does for this kid in the never-ending story with the horse and the dog and like it does for Harry Potter with this this creature you know you got Hagrid he has Hermione he has Neville you know he has all these people uh the little elf person helps him so this is like wow so this may change over come in different forms but I think it's all the same thing okay so the dog means the lucky dragon Falkor. He's a lucky dragon. Okay, and this is a quest. Okay, never give up and good luck will find you. That's something that I think he says in it. Like this is some kind of a quest that you're on. There's something here that you're doing that's very important and like this is this is gonna take off this is gonna happen in your life here and then i saw raindrops and then i i'm feeling called i could think of a million things that raindrops mean but for i was just like i need to look up what raindrops mean and i look it up and it says oh I'm trying to read my handwriting. End of a dry spell. I'm telling you, a spell cast and change, and it means growth and transformation, according to what I looked up the first thing that came up, you know? And so there, like during a dry spell, you cast a spell for something else. And now there's just transformation that is happening. I think you're going to be very, very, very surprised here, okay? You could be hearing of a pregnancy. I'm seeing that. Or this could just be something you want to birth in your life here. You, okay. And then I saw like um, an old school kind of a person, a kind of person that, you know, maybe is very set in their ways here. You could go to a house that reminds you of a particular person. This could be a person that has passed on. This could be a new person that you met. This could be a celebrity or something. This is just something somebody that gives you inspiration and they have done something in their life or they're helping you to achieve something and it's like spirit can come from all different forms right it can be a flying dog it can be a horse it can be a you know a house elf it can be all these different things right and that's the thing is that's what's happening spirit is going to help you in so many ways i feel like you're not even going to know like yeah, and so here, this is like the thing where I saw. It looks like a house, and then it looks like a person's face here. And it's like, there's somewhere that you're going to go that could remind you of a particular person, like their house, uh, and give you that kind of energy and just feel very homey, like somebody else's house has um, 
a particular person's house has done. This person could be in spirit or you could just see it somewhere and it's like, oh yeah, I could picture all of these things here. There's something here about a house and you're seeing things. And it reminds you of some kind of things that bring on a uh, comfort, that bring on, you know, this kind of a thing here. There is an energy of passing through and this is just on your way. There is a place on your way and it's like on your way, you could hear about pregnancy, somebody getting pregnant. On your way, you could stop at different places that remind you and put you in this reminiscent mindset of like thinking back on this memorable time or that memorable time. You may be going back to places like a, like home where you left or um, traveling and it can be a short day trip. It doesn't have to be long, but this is putting you in an energy of being nostalgic, um, but you're still going to have to keep moving through on your journey. You're just passing through. That's it. This is giving me the energy of when Harry Potter stays at Ron Weasley's house, but they like stay for a night and then they're all drinking this potion and they're all going to go fly and be somewhere else, you know? And it's like, was that the last time they ever walked into that house? You know, you don't know. There's something here about having to pass through here. Um, yeah. And then there's like uh, wild horses here running here. So wild horses actually form groups. And they run wild, you know, they're free, whatever. And here's the thing is like, you know, wild horses, they are running and running and running and this is how they live. And so, you know, if another horse can't get up and they can't run, it's like a sadness. But at the same time, they keep go the other horses keep going. And the, that it's like, you know, yeah, you're leaving a horse behind that can't run. But at the same time, it's like to honor that horse, you would keep running because that's what they would want you to do. There's something here about having to move on with something, um, may, perhaps on your own, and you didn't want to have to do that. Maybe you planned and wanted to do something with somebody else. Well, that didn't work out, you know, but you're going to go forth and you're actually going to do it. And this is the thing where it's like, you know, they always have these stories and it's like, I'm sure it could be boys too, but it's like a group of girls and they're young and they envision this thing for their life, you know, like we're going to do this, we're going to do this, but everybody else, you know, they fall off here, they fall off here, you know, but you actually do it. So there could be something about that. There, there's something here. You have a huge boat here. <laughs> there is this something here. There is going to be some kind of saving grace for you. You can be really worried about finances here. There is something coming in here. And this is going to help you with smooth sailing here. Okay. May not happen instantaneously. But you will see that this is going to carry you. This is going to let you live your life and be transported around this earth. It's going to lead to you being able to explore a lot of different creative opportunities that you want to explore. But here's the thing. With the boat, there's always a risk. Every time there is a risk. And this is, do you believe in yourself? And do you believe in God to catch you? Because... What's out there in the sea? You know, we got 30 foot waves, you know, this is like, hey, you're in alignment and you're going to be saved and you're going to live or you're not. And it's going to be bad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's kind of the energy of like a boat. So this is like, are you going to get on the boat as you believe in, in yourself and you're going to go for it? And if you don't get on the boat, well, then, you know, the boat's going to sail other places and then eventually the boat will come back. And are you going to get on this time? You know, it's going to come in cycles. OK, so there's something here about people here begging. I see like a lot of people and they're kind of formulating a line here. And they're all begging. So I feel like you could cut someone could come into a lot of money. Something you can be doing could really take off. As things start to build, start to build, start to build. There's going to be a lot of people. This is the bold. This is the people begging. They're like on their knees here. And another one. And another one. And another one. And it's never really ends. So this is something where people like... The universe wants you to be very careful of everybody else has a way where they can attract a boat, right? And what I mean by boat is just this kind of financial opportunity, 
for them to not just survive, right? Not just tread water, but for them to thrive and be able to be in this place of luxury and flow with the flow of life. Like the water is the flow of life and have your, you're above your emotions. So your emotions are a guidance system for you. They don't overrule you, right? You're not drowning in them. These people are in the water and they're begging for your help. You can't help them. They, you can say some things that can spark something within them for them to help themselves. That's a different story here. So there's some kind of light shining around you. I feel like there's going to be an increase in attention around you and you need to be very careful about who you tell what you got going on to um, and who you let into your life. There could be something here where you have an opportunity to go back and spirit is kind of saying, remember, you're just passing through. And you may be reminded of why you left a particular place to begin with. And so there may be a trip that is cut short. There may be a trip that you decide to change. And I just saw 15.55 on the clock. Something might change with your plans. But this is going to end up being better for you in the long haul because there's amazing things that you're doing here. And other people really don't understand this here. There is a meeting that's going to take place. I can already tell you that right now. There's some kind of a meeting here. This could be a meeting of... Um, one, two, three. There's three streams coming down from here. So this means there could be three different meetings. You could meet a person that, you know what, there's something in their energy that you really like and it really inspires you. And you know what, you um, just start to do things again that remind you of your vitality, that remind you of um, being you, for you to express yourself, to have fun just for you. And when you do that, that takes away from other projects of things that you have going on. But you know what? In doing that, you end up being so much more effective in those projects that you have going on and something is going to take off here. It could be a me an opportunity like a business opportunity for you to meet with someone and you're going to be able to discuss things. It could be something here where it's kind of like um, researching things, believing in yourself, knowing that you're confident going into it is very important because I feel like this is going to be very good for you. Um, but you don't want to just say yes to things without understanding the full meaning. So it's like looking into it. And then another thing could be like some kind of legal thing that needs to be straightened out, some kind of documentation or something that you need to do to be able to be like afloat or to feel good or to feel free. And that could be letting go of something, selling something, clearing something up that is from the past that needs to be done with. So those three things could be taking place. Um, it can be a person that you're meeting that um, it's very important. You meeting a particular person and something starting, some kind of spark taking off with a particular person here. Okay, let's see. And th there's something here about meeting a person. This could be a love interest where they have traveled somewhere that you want to travel. Or they have been somewhere that you uh, have been. Or, you know, they have a background in something that you have always wanted to know about. Or you have a background in something that they have always wanted to know about. You know, there is a way that you see how your lives could tangle together, but you're still different. You're still different as a matter of how you express yourself. And this is a person who listens, and this is a person who's very, very stable. You're attracting immense stability uh, within yourself with other people. You have enlightenment here. And look at this boat. Did I tell you the divine is going to be lifting you up here? Yeah. There's something here within you that you know, and this is going to take off in a huge, huge way. You have protection here, okay? Yeah, you have to protect yourself from these people here that are begging 
Yeah, we don't need that kind of energy and you have diligence here because you've done the hard work and other people have opportunities to do the hard work as well. You know, you have forgiveness here. So yeah, there could be things um, that you are forgiving, have forgiven, but that doesn't mean you need to allow certain people back into your life or, you know, there's something here about people may try to persuade you to allow another person to cross a boundary that you have set and this is it's like a lot of work that you have done in your life to get a pl to a place of peace to get to this place of clearing out all the energy being in alignment okay and soaring and now you're soaring and spirit wants you to keep up with the protection like the protection is put in place the higher vibration you know the enlightenment you're being sworn you're being like put up here but you have to do like the maintenance this is what i'm getting with the diligence card which is kind of like you know okay let's say you know you win the lottery you buy a beautiful huge home and you know uh, you put a security in place and all of these kinds of things, but there's still like you have to check up on the home. You have to, there's still things that need to be, you know, done on a regular basis to maintain, you know, this home, right? So that, that's something here. The protection is in place. The enlightenment is in place, but you, there's still some a few things here and there that you need to do to balance things out, right? And this is like the bird is falling, but then there's the air resistance. So this is the gravitational pull and the air resistance. So this is you balancing out your own resistance with your own desire of what you are pulling to you what you're vibing at so what you're attracting here you're coming to a place of leveling off with this and there are times where this bird needs to flap their wings right but they don't have to flap their wings the entire time so that's that's this is the, your new normal you're gonna have a new normal now and um You know, you have separation and longing and you have self-love. This is the thing. Is there something here about people want you to feel bad about a particular person that maybe you have cut out or something or you haven't been around this person here? And during this time, you have developed immense self-love and things are starting to take off for you. And that is going to continue, but you need to keep the protection in place is the thing. And this could have to do with family. We'll see. This could have to do with a uh, masculine person. Look, this could have to do with family. Yeah, disharmony. There's something here. This could be a father figure. It doesn't have to be. But there is a person that's trying to get back in your energy here. And this could be a past person that you were in a um, relationship with. You have fulfillment and wish. There is a wish fulfillment coming in for you here. And I feel like that person, they don't deserve it. They don't deserve to be a part of your life. They don't deserve to be in your life. You know, you have receive and open here. Yeah. There's something here that you're going to get dreams, messages, dreams. The divine is like, is giving you a lot here. And you're protecting a lot. And the thing is, it's like everybody in society is like, oh, well, you have to do this. You have to, you know. You don't have to do anything that you don't want to do. And your wish, this is being protected. Because if certain people are in your energy, this wish is going to be taken. It's going to be destroyed. It's not going to be the wish that you actually deserve. So there's something here that has been backlogged. And when you're doing this diligence, when you're keeping up with it, now you can receive it. Because now it is going to be maintained. I was I was reading something about this. There's something about like, you know, when you win the lottery, you before you claim it, there's a certain time where it's better to claim it than other times. And then it's like, what are you going to do with it? Having a plan of what you're going to do with it before you receive it. Because what does Marissa Pierce say? 
There's like 70% of lottery winners three years later, they're completely broke because they haven't changed their mindset. So they're not going to keep it. It just lo it goes through their hands. And a lot of people, it's like, oh, yeah, okay, well, I'll take it. <laughs> Those three years, I'll figure it out. You know, you say that, but 70%, you know, no, you want to build this to last so you can stay afloat. So you can sail and, you know, rep ship represents going off on this quest into the unknown and your heart is calling you. When people got off and got onto ships and they didn't know if they're going to fall off the face of the earth, you know why they did that? That's freaking crazy. Their heart, their heart was calling them. They needed to know what's out there. And yes, a lot of terrible things happened, you know, because people got power hungry and they wanted you know, this fame of their name. And so they did horrible things to people, you know, in different lands that they found and all of this. Okay, yeah, things got corrupt here. But the ship represents, it represents a vessel, a way for a dream to be achieved. And this is why the ship is on the sky, because it's a dream. That I tell you, this is a dream. This is like a wish that you made that's going to come true. You're going to receive it. You, you spoke it into existence here. Hanged man. There is a perspective now that you don't, like nobody else gets it. They don't get it. They don't get it. You know, because they're still in a place of of sorrow. And, you know, that's their right. Everybody has their right. This is your gift of life. What are you going to do with it, you know? And you've changed. You, yeah, you can't go back to what it was before. It's not going to be what it was before, you know? But through all of this conflict and trying to go back again and have something be normal... It's not going to be normal. It's not going to be right. It's not going to be what you want it to be. But this is going to push you towards taking this new opportunity. Going off on this quest. Having this wish fulfillment. A fish represents prosperity. Represents abundance. Represents this wish being fulfilled. And it represents something that's going to last. Because you can teach someone. You can give someone a meal. Which is what these people uh, over here are asking for. You know. They are asking, look at that person on their knees there with their hand out, and that's their head. It's like clear as it, and all of them one behind it. They have their hand out. You're going to feed them a meal, and then what? They're going to come back a couple hours still hungry. You know, you teach them to fish, and they're good. You don't, they don't need anything from you ever again, <laughs> you know? So this is the thing here is you're taking the fish, which is going to fulfill you. This is the fulfillment. So you're not just supposed to receive something and let it go, you know? And that's why you have the Four of Wands with the Ace of Wands. So this can be commitment. This can be a marriage. This can be, this is um, prosperity here for a lot of you. And look, you have dreams and you have divine time. It is time for these dreams to happen. It's time for this to happen now. There's a lot of passion that you're following. This could have to do with a Pisces person. Doesn't have to be, but this could be a person. This could be a wish that you made during this past Pisces season, which would be, uh, you know, March and February. End of February, beginning of March. This could be a project that you have been working on since then. And you know what's going to happen is there's going to be people around you. The Queen of Pentacles, you know, she has people around her that she can trust. They love her. She loves them. Okay, you know, these people in this, her kingdom, you know, they love her. They Everybody has a picture of her in their living room by choice, you know, <laughs> They're all thriving and doing well. There are no peasants there. You know, everybody's doing their dream job and it just happens 
to work out magic. You know, she has a person for that. You know, she has a divination person when she has these kinds of questions. She has somebody who specializes in making uh, potions. She has, you know, her huntsman, you know. She has her, you know, uh, on different, every street there's a spy and they all communicate back to her. And you know what I mean? She has a way to sneak out of the city and nobody even knows. She has like seven people that will dress like her. And who, who's the real queen? You know what I mean? She has a tight community. <laughs> They're close, you know? They are thicker than thieves. There is something here about that's going to happen for you. But it's not in the past. It's not in the past. It's not necessarily in people that you already know. I feel like it's all new. It has to do with going on this new quest. Um, it could be, but the people would have to transform immensely. So there's a lot of wish fulfillment that's coming in for you. And wow. This could be you're attracting a very nurturing person. You're attracting a person who has healed their inner child. You're attracting a person who, you know, within themselves, they know what is right for them to do. This is a person that is not easily rattled by this and that. They see different personalities and people and they understand, okay, you know, this person is this way maybe because these things happen to them. So it's not a person that gets easily shaken up, but it's a person that's very, very, very grounded energy and they help other people gain perspective on the situation here. They could help bring other people together, but they don't necessarily try to go out of their way and do that either. This is a person that could be a little, sometimes you meet them and they're quieter, but when there's something that needs to be said an order that needs to be put into place, this person will do that. And this person can be very surprisingly comforting um, and people feel very close with this person. People just trust this person right away, okay? These are qualities that you have and this is qualities of you're attracting people with these qualities as well. So these are people that um, have, how do I wanna say this? Their divine feminine energy is like highly developed. very much so highly developed. They give a safe space for people to be who they are without compromising themselves. People trust, people respect this person. And it's like this person doesn't have to say anything. They don't have to do anything. Other people will say, oh, so this other person is very disrespectful. Let's say this: there's a person that's very disrespectful. There's a person that does this, does that. When this person comes around, that person doesn't act like that. <laughs> they just don't. And it's not anything that this person says or it's just their energy will not allow it. And so it just happens. You know, it's kind of like dogs. You know, when you have dogs that like um, act up and they act all crazy, but there's certain people that... They just don't, they don't try to jump on them or they don't try to, none of that kind of energy. Because it's just the energy that they have. They have a presence that is, is commanding and demands respect. But at the same time, it's not threatening. It's not forcing it. It's just in a pure way. So I feel like this is something that's very nourishing for you. There's very enriching conversations that you and this person can have. This person can be very good at listening. They'll listen for a long, long time. And they're actually really, really listening to, really hearing you. You know, you really feel heard with this person. But this is a person that they have other things going on as well. They have projects. They have things that they care about. So they're not a person, they're a person that is okay with, okay, now plans are changing. Okay, now here, now we're there. Um, but all of a sudden, you're busy doing certain things. This person is okay with that. It's a person that's okay within themselves. It's going to make you very happy. There's a lot of bliss to be had here. There's a lot of joy to be had here. This is something that you really, really deserve, you know. And you want something where you can establish some kind of roots. Because you have the Knight of Wands. 
So there's kind of like this roots and wings kind of energy. You want to be free to explore, you know, this world, but you also want to have like a set stable home, a set stable group. And this is the thing is you're getting that, <laughs> you know, because this this six of, of cups here, it really talks about um, a gift from the universe. And this is because you're looking back, you're feeling nostalgic and this means something when you're looking back and you're feeling nostalgic because that's what this talks about. This talks about people coming back into your life. You're looking back, you're feeling nostalgic, and this represents you understanding what this means. And you're behaving in a way when you're faced with all of this that honors your inner child, that honors your truth. And because you're doing this, you get a gift from the universe. That's what this card is speaking to me like it means. So, and that's what this is talking about as well. This is honoring your inner child. This is you being free to be who you are in such a beautiful way. And you don't need anybody to do anything. You don't need anything from anyone. And because of that, you're going to be surrounded by people that have so much to give you. And you deserve. You deserve this. You deserve all of this. Uh, amazing. Could be a cancer uh, uh no well yeah okay i'm gonna say just because i said cancer could be a cancer but really it could be a leo or it could be a taurus for capricorn is what i was trying to say oh you have sagittarius here yeah wow um let me see if there's anything else I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> okay. You have casket, something leaving your life. Yeah. There's someone here that left your life. They want to come back in here. They want this forgiveness here. And maybe you can forgive them, but I don't think you need to let them back into your life. You can make your own decision about how you're going to handle that situation. Right? Okay. But then you have the crib. I told you you're going to hear about a pregnancy. There's something here about a baby. There is something here about something new is going to be born. Birth or conception of a child or an enterprise here. You have a younger woman, dealings or relationships with a younger woman. There could be um, some kind of friendship that you make or this could turn into something romantic here. But there's something here that you're going to give birth that's going to take off here. And this could be when this person is trying to come back into your life. And it's like, okay. I don't think so. <laughs> it's just the energy that I'm getting here. Um, yeah, because I feel like you're just, you have places that you're going. You're going places. Things are happening now. And people are ready now, already. They're already ready. And there's people that have gone through what you have gone through. And they have learned what you have learned. It's like people may come back and they may say all of these things. But is, has the change really real? You know, are they doing it for the right reasons? Are they doing it for themselves? Because if they were doing it for themselves, then they wouldn't be trying to convince you of anything. So I would be really worried of someone who's trying to remind you of the good times and convince you of something. Because someone who has honorable intentions, they don't need to convince you of anything. And this could just be your mind going back and you keep thinking about a past situation and you keep wanting to call it to you. And this is delaying something new from happening. So you could be just be telling yourself, to, okay, I'm not going to think that anymore. I forgive that situation and I'm moving forward to a new situation. Maybe something is not going to be what I thought, but maybe it's going to be actually way better than I could have ever even imagined. And the answer is yes, that's, what's good. that's what it's going to be. Yeah. So, okay, thank you so much, Leo. I hope this resonated. If it didn't, you want to like and subscribe. That would be awesome. Thank you so much, and I'll see you tomorrow.